Good day. This is the sixth video tutorial on the designer program. Let's consider the math section cube. Formulas. This cube is designed to create your own formulas. In the cube settings in the formula string, we can write our own formula. For example, as shown at the bottom of the window, for example, y plus 3 times x. As you can see, the cube has input sockets. One of the sockets is responsible for the y argument data. Second, for x argument data. At the output, calculation result. Let's make an example of a schema for using this cube. Select two variable cubes. In the cube settings, specify the data type, numerical value, and specify the value stored in the cube, 2. Similarly, repeat for the second cube. and specify the value, 4. Connect sockets. Now, Y argument will get value, 2. And X argument, value 4. The calculation result will be at the cube output. Complicate the schema a little. Let the Y argument be equal to the sign of the candle's open price. Select a candle cube. Select a converter cube. Which will get the opening price from the candle cube. Select a variable cube. Which will receive, store and pass the price value. Connect sockets. In the converter settings, in the data type value, specify opening price. Connect the cube with a variable. To calculate the sign for clarity, we will use the formula cube. In the cube settings, write down our formula. Sign x. Here, x is an argument equal to the opening price. Connect the cubes. Now the Y argument on the N formula cube gets the sign value of opening price. Thus, it is possible to compose complex schemas and formulas. Let's discuss the strategy. Its purpose is as follows. If the closing price of the previous candle is higher than the value of the SMA indicator for 20 periods plus three standard deviations over 20 periods, then we sell at the candle opening price. If the closing price of the previous candle is less than the value of the SMA indicator for 20 periods minus three standard deviations over 20 periods, then we make a purchase at the candle opening price. That is, to build a strategy, we need to determine the value of indicators and carry out mathematical calculations. For calculations, we can apply a formula cube in which we can calculate the necessary values. Having determined the candle opening price using the converter, we can compare it with the calculation results and give the trade direction depending on which condition is met. The cubes will be applying formulas, converter, indicator, and comparison. Let's select cubes, variable, candles, chart panel. Connect them. To get the values of the opening price and closing price of a candle, select two converter cubes. Connect them to the candle cube. In the settings of the first converter, in a data type value, set the opening price. In the settings of the second converter, in a data type value, set the closing price. Select the previous value cube, which will receive, store, and pass. The closing price value of the previous candle and variable cube which will receive, store, and pass. The open price value of the current candle, 
connect cube with converter cubes. And variable cube with a candles cube via the trigger socket to receive a signal about data transfer along the schema. Select two indicator cubes. And in the settings, set the necessary values. First, SMA indicator. Set the period equal to 20. Second indicator of average deviation, standard division. Set the period equal to 20. Connect the indicator cubes with the candles cube. To fulfill the strategy conditions, we need to make mathematical calculations. Select a formula cube and find three standard deviations. In the cube settings, write the formula 3 times x, where x is one standard deviation value, and connect with the indicator cube. Under the strategy terms, we need calculate the sum of indicator values and their difference. Select two formula cubes with two arguments. Connect cube sockets with SMA indicator value with sockets of formula cube with two arguments. Connect formula cube sockets, calculations of three standard deviations, with formula cube sockets with two arguments, in the settings of the formula cube, setting the calculation formula, in the first, A plus B, to find out the amount, in the second, formula A minus B, for difference. For comparison, it is necessary. Select two comparison cubes. At the input, the cubes will receive the closing price of the previous candle and the calculation result. Specify the comparison criterion in the settings. according to our condition. Select two variable cubes. In the settings of the first, specify the order volume by selecting the numeric data type and the value 1. In the settings of the second, we specify the portfolio on which the trade is going. In our case, this is a simulator. Select auto registration cubes. Connect their sockets to the corresponding sockets of Instruments Cube. Comparison Cubes. Variable Cubes storing the candle opening price value. and connect to the sockets of volume and portfolio cubes.
Specify the trade direction in the settings of order registration cubes. If the condition is met when the closing price is greater than the value of indicator sum, then we sell. If the condition is met when the closing price is less than the difference between indicators, then we buy. Set up the market data period for the strategy. Select an instrument for testing. Click on Start. A candle chart will be drawn in the chart window. In the Orders window, all orders for this instrument for the specified period will be displayed, including possible errors. We will talk about them in other lessons. In the Trades window, it will be possible to track all trades that have passed in the strategy, including time, direction, and prices of trades. In the Profit and Loss chart window, you can see the result of our trading. As you can see, the strategy trades in profit. Let's additionally display the indicator charts that were obtained from our formulas. To do this, we will use the indicator cubes. Select an indicator cube. In the settings, we will specify the SMA indicator, since this indicator is a moving average. The indicator calculates the average value for the selected number of periods, and therefore, if we set the number of periods equal to 1, then the indicator will calculate the value obtained by the formula. Thus, the result of mathematical calculations will be displayed on the chart. Copy and paste the cube for the second formula and connect the cubes. Connect the indicator cubes and the chart panel. Click on Start. As you can see, charts of indicator values are plotted, obtained by calculating mathematical formulas. Thus, you can create your own indicators and display the obtained values on the chart. That's all. Thanks. Goodbye.